Hi everyone, this is the video prepared for the Science for Design class. In this video, I like to give an introduction of the basic definition of the vectors in digital media and digital design. Now let's have a look at the definition of a vector. A vector is an object that has both a magnitude and a direction. Geometrically, we can picture a vector as a directed line segment whose length is the magnitude of the vector and with an arrow indicating the direction. The direction of the vector is from its tail to its head. Two vectors are the same if they have the same magnitude and direction. This means that if we take a vector and translate it into a new position or without rotating it, then the vector we obtain at the end of this process is the same vector we had in the beginning. In this video, we begin to explore ideas of application of vectors in game design. The Bridge Project is a computer game developed and published by Chronic Logic. In the Bridge Project game, the object of each game is to construct a bridge that a train may cross over given a limited budget and available materials. The concept of this game is very cool, that applying so, yeah, domain like vectors and operations to build a funny game. It's just, this is like, I lost this video, so I gotta redo it, you know? So I was like, man, that sucks. But whatever. We can redo it. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could have made those into ramps and they'd fall apart and it'd be a little less stable, but it probably would still work. Uh, this is the first one you get the cables at, I believe. Yes. So there's two ways you could actually attempt this. I'll show them both off. First one is like this. And then you have a suspension holding all these and at least a very wobbly bridge that does win. Usually. We'll have to see if it actually holds up. Sometimes the, the bridges... The world of goo is a vector puzzle concept as well as the bridge project. This game was developed and published by independent game developer 2D Boyne. The game was nominated for the Sumas McNally Grand Prize, Design Innovation Award and Technical Excellence at the Independent Games Festival and has gone on to win several other gaming awards since its release. The game is built around the idea of creating large structures. In order to do so, the player must use the goo balls to construct bridges, towers, and other structures to overcome gravity and various terrain difficulties such as chasms, hills, spikes, windmills, or cliffs. you learn something from this video if you have further questions please feel free to contact me at this email